Hi everyone, today I'm showing you how I made this pillbox hat. It all started one night when I couldn't sleep and was watching Angela Clayton's pillbox hat tutorial. I figured out I had basically everything I needed in my house and I desperately needed a pillbox hat to match my latest dress right now. So please join me in this adventure and let's make a hat together. I'll link Angela's tutorial in the description box because without it I would have been so lost and she explains it way better than me so please go check it out. Here are the things I used. Felt fabric to shape my head, fusible interface to strengthen my outer fabric, lining fabric for the inside of my head, my outer fabric fashion, metal wire, an oval shaped template cut out of cardboard, Mine was 18 by 19 centimeters. Pliers to cut and bend my wire. And I use an old fleece blanket for stuffing. So step one was making a paper mock-up. The first one was way too high, as you can see. So I did some adjusting. The second version was actually too low. So I ended up going with something in the middle. I cut out my head top and border out of felt. It doesn't really matter what color your felt is, but do remember you need to cover it up with your fabric, which I kind of forgot, so maybe don't go for such bright colors if you can. Next, I'm going to be using my wire to create a border all around my pieces, using hair clips to keep the wire in place as I go. Making sure to bend the ends of my wire into little loops to prevent them from poking through the hat. Next, I sew the wire into place. You can do this on a sewing machine with a wide zigzag stitch or by hand with a slip stitch. The wire will make sure your head can hold its shape. While I'm sewing this together, I'm wondering if you guys ever made any matching accessories for your sewing project. And if so, what did you make? Because I can't believe the amount of joy I got from making this matching set. After stitching in the wire, I cut out my lining fabric about 2cm bigger than my felt pieces. I'm using two layers of lining to make sure I cover up my bright felt. Next, I pinned the lining in place, covering up my metal wire. And I slip stitch it in place so I can take out my pins and work with the pieces. I can now start shaping my hat. I measure out how much overlap my band has and stitch it in place, making sure the lining fabric is turned inwards. Next, I stitch the top of the head to the band and your basic shape is done. Now it's time to grab your filling. I used an old fleece blanket cut into various circles. And you can see me layering them around the head. Finally, I end with a big circle and pin it in place.
We can now start to cut our fashion fabric. A circle to cover my top and a band that's a bit longer and wider than your original pattern. You want your band to fit snugly over your head to keep everything in place, so you may need to measure it again. Next, I'm cutting interface for both of these pieces and ironing it on. Now I've sewn the band into a loop and I iron open the seam. After that I fold my band into two and give it another press. Finally I go to my sewing machine and top stitch the band's folded edge. Finally, it's time to assemble the final pieces. I pin in place the circle on top of the head, taking out the pins in the fleece below as I go. I'm making sure I place my pins vertical so I can slide over my band and still access my pins. Took some effort, but I got my band in place and start taking out my pins and repinning the band and top in place. Next, I sew the two edges together. Finally, we just have to finish the inside. So I fold over the outer fabric twice and sew it to the lining fabric. This is definitely a fiddly process, but well, at least not a lot of people will see the inside of my hat. Finally, I take out my slip stitches and you're done. I ended up adding a very simple bow at the end, which I sadly didn't film, but I'm really happy with how this turned out. It was my first time making a hat and it's definitely wearable, so I count that as a win. Also I really love how the whole assembled looks when I wear the hat and the dress together. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe and let me know what you think about my hat. Bye!